Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the ideal and practical sources. Now let's see what is ideal source and what is practical source. Okay. If you see the classification of sources, there are two sources, voltage source and current source. Okay. Again, the voltage sources are of classified into two types, ideal voltage source and practical voltage source. And if you see the current source, the current source also current source also classified into two types, ideal current source and practical current source. So these are the classifications of different sources. Now, if you see the ideal voltage source definition, so ideal voltage source is a two terminal device whose voltage at any instant of time is constant and is independent of the current drawn from it. Such a voltage source is called as an ideal voltage source and has a zero internal resistance. And practically an ideal voltage source cannot be obtained. Yeah, this, if you see the ideal voltage source, there is no internal resistance and we will get the const, uh, constant voltage and it is not independent of the current. Okay, now if you see the ideal voltage source symbol this is the ideal voltage source symbol simply it is a battery symbol or the voltage source okay it is a battery uh, battery symbol or voltage source here okay now if you see the characteristics of ideal voltage source so here these are the characteristics we will get the constant voltage here here we are changing the current continuously if the current is changing continuously, they up to certain voltage, there is no change in the voltage. After reaching this point, the voltage is constant. Okay, there is no change in the voltage, even if you increase the current continuously. Okay, that's why as the voltage is constant here continuously, that's why it is called as ideal voltage source. If you see the voltage source, there is no internal resistance here. Okay, if there is no internal resistance for the voltage source or battery, this voltage source is called as ideal voltage source. We are in ideal voltage source, we will get the constant voltage irrespective of the current value. Okay, this is about the ideal voltage source. Now, if you see the practical voltage source, so practical voltage source. The definition of practical voltage sources, the voltage sources, the voltage sources having some amount of internal resistances are known as practical voltage source. Due to this internal resistances, voltage drop takes place and it causes the terminal voltage to reduce. If you see the voltage source symbol, so this is the voltage source symbol here. Okay, here one voltage source that is connected in series with the resistance. In the previous, if you see the previous voltage source, that is the ideal voltage source, in that there was no internal resistance here. Here there is an internal resistance that is connected in series. Practical voltage source is one voltage source that is connected in series with the internal resistances. That is called as practical, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, practical voltage source. In the ideal voltage source, the, this internal resistance was not there. In the practical voltage source only, there is an internal resistance. Okay, if you see the characteristics of the practical voltage source, now this is the practical voltage source. Here on the x-axis, we are taking the current and y-axis, we are taking the voltage. Here current is changing continuously. Increase, we are increasing the current continuously. And if you see the voltage here, the voltage is, there is a slight drop in the voltage here. Okay, as the current is increasing, the voltage is decreasing slightly. There is a change in the voltage here. In the previous case, the voltage is constant. Okay, instead of getting the constant voltage here, we are getting there is a drop here. This drop is because of this internal resistance. Okay, that's why it is called as practical voltage source. In practical voltage source, there is a drop in the voltage. This drop because of this resistance. This is about the practical voltage source. Okay, simply remember in an ideal voltage source, there is no internal resistance and there is no drop in the voltage. If you see the practical voltage source, there is an internal resistance connected in series with the voltage source. 
that is the voltage source symbol and the if you see the characteristic there is a drop in the voltage this drop is because of this resistor okay let's see the ideal current source okay if you see the ideal current source ideal current source is a two terminal circuit element which supplies the same current to any load resistance connected across its terminal it is important to keep in mind that the current supplied by the current source is independent of the voltage source terminal if you see the symbol of the ideal current source this is the ideal current source symbol it is having a two terminals it is a current source okay it is not having any resistance if you see the characteristics here this if you increasing the voltage continuously okay after certain current there is no change in the current current is constant irrespective of the voltage changes if you change the voltage continuously it will not react okay current is constant okay here there is no internal resistance okay there is no internal resistance for the voltage source okay internal resistance is zero for this ideal current source okay there is no sorry here internal resistance is infinity not zero okay if we see the uh, circuit diagram here uh, sorry if, if you see the symbol this is the symbol of the current source okay ideal current source symbol there is no internal resistance now if you see the practical current source the practical current source is represented as an ideal current source that is connected in parallel with the resistance and with this current drop with this the current drop takes place the symbolic representation of practical current sources this is the practical current this is the ideal for the ideal current source we will connect one resistor connected in parallel so this is the total symbol is about the practical current source the practical current source is one current source that is connected in parallel with the resistor okay so it is same as without this resistor it is the ideal ideal current source now if we connect one resistor connected in parallel with the current source that will become a practical current source okay one current source that is connect connected in parallel with the resistor is called as practical current source it is a practical current source if you see the characteristics here in the characteristics if you increase the voltage continuously there is a change in the current here there is a drop in the current because of this resistor connected in parallel because of this resistor there is a drop in the current that's why it is called as practical current source in the practical current source there is a current drops here because of this resistor simply remember in the practical current source there is no internal resistor here if you see the practical current source there is a internal resistor that is connected in parallel with the current source this is about the ideal voltage source and practical voltage source and ideal current source and practical current source in the ideal voltage source there is no voltage drop if you take the practical voltage source there is a voltage drop because of the internal resistance and if you see the ideal current source in ideal current source there is no current drop if you see the practical current source in the practical current source there is a drop because of the resist internal resistance okay that is current drop okay this is about the ideal sources and practical sources in the next class we will discuss about the next topic thank you everyone